Welcome to Group D action. We're here in the beautiful Dominican Republic with the final game of a very entertaining day here in CONCACAF Women's U20 World Cup qualifying. Mexico and Guyana set to clash in a battle for first place atop a very competitive Group D. Temperatures are down here in Santo Domingo. The humidity is up at 81% with a light four mile per hour win. I'm Casey White, thrilled to ha be on the call here as we take a look at the table here for Group D. Puerto Rico winning in earlier action, 1-0 over Nicaragua, securing the third place ticket to the round of 16. Mexico and Guyana tied with six points, with Mexico with a slight goal differential advantage with five goals and Guyana three. First place is at stake and Mexico and Guyana will be battling it out here shortly. Na national anthems are coming up next.
both nations here singing with pride and decorated fans for both sides out in full force here in Santo Domingo. Mexico and Guyana getting set to play this evening in Estadio Olimpico, Felix Sanchez, as they shake hands with the opposing team and referees. Both nations have secured a spot in the round of 16, but this game will determine who they face. First, we'll take a look at the lineup for Mexico. Four of the five goal scorers on the bench today, but the return of Silvana Flores and Mary Carmen Reyes into the starting lineup. Both players very dynamic in the attack, able to create goal scoring chances. And then the debut for Zoe Aguirre in goal, getting her first start for Mexico here today. As we get ready for the coin toss, Brianne Desa, the captain, and Flores. Four officials today, Miriam Marcolt, Marie Hans, Gagnon Christian, the first assistant, Jennifer Garner, second assistant, and the fourth referee, Odette Hamilton. Both captains looking to lead their team to victory in a game that will determine first and second place. And now the lineup for Guyana, Jade Bavos, Solid in midfield, Janae Knight, the ability to attack from the back for Guyana. And Samantha Banfield getting her first start, seen time in both games. A player in midfield that's been a solid performer for Guyana and head coach Ivan Joseph. It's a beautiful night here in Santo Domingo as both teams huddle up as they get ready for the kick in this first half. And we take a look at the subs. Firepower on the bench for Mexico and Allison Gonzalez and Reyna Reyes. They're starting right back, has had a solid performance. And both Alfred Quedo and Audrey Narin on the bench for Guyana as both rosters do rest some players here as they both secure a spot in the round of 16. But plenty of players getting experience here today as we get ready for kick. Soto once again in that back line for Mexico. A solid performance last time out versus Nicaragua. And we're underway on an absolutely gorgeous evening in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. I'm Casey White. Absolutely excited to call this game and be with you here tonight as Mexico and Guyana face off for first place in Group D. Para on the right side. Combining with Zimpo Altaka as the ball's played around the back to the left. <laughs> Silvana Flores on the ball. Captain for today's game. Tucker will take space here as she looks to play forward. Head coach Monica Vergara, certainly a lot of experience under her belt within the Federation, taking the U-17 Mexican national team to the finals versus Spain in the 2018 World Cup in Uruguay, leading the U-20 roster here today. Diaz looking to settle it as Silvana Flores finds her on the right side of the field. Two births are at stake for the World Cup. 
in Costa Rica and Panama. Serving as host nations for the 2020 World Cup. Diaz on the turn. Looking to find Para on the overlapping run. Oh, it is a deflection here. And cleared up by the back line of Guyana. As Gabriela Juarez looks to get on the end of that deflection for the early lead, but spoiled by the back line. And it'll be a corner kick for Mexico. Vasquez to take the corner kick. Left footed service to the near post, flicked on and skied over the crossbar by Mary Carmen Reyes. A driven left footed ball to that near post. Just not able to get over it to get that on frame and force the save from Edward Dowdle. Edwards Dowdle getting her first appearance and start here for Guyana in net. Busy first few minutes for her, and not being forced to make a save quite yet. Vasquez to keep possession. Silvana Flores, the captain, on the ball. Diaz coming inside. Juarez looking for the flick, but defended well by Brienne Desa, the captain for Guyana, and getting it out to safety. Desa been a solid performer for Guyana in the back. Calm leader and an enforcer in that back line. Guyana only allowing two goals thus far in their campaign in Group D. Ball played over the top and it'll be a goal kick for Guyana. Dowdle plays out quickly. Rowe on the ball. Ball's played into the center forward. Mary Carmen Reyes looks to play out the right side through Zimpo Alteca. She takes space for Mexico. Little chip ball in behind, and Jessica Myers is there to clear for Guyana. But Mexico able to establish possession still in their attacking half. Applying pressure here early, and Guyana find, having trouble finding a way out as they settle into this First six minutes of play. Vasquez looking to switch the point here through Flores, Reyes to the right back par as she looks to take space. Getting the shot off, but straight to Edward Dowdle. She's able to collect it cleanly for Guyana. Rowe looking to get forward. Guyana looking quite composed defensively when out of possession organized and able to deal with the possession and attack of Mexico here to start. Yeah. 
Long ball in behind. As Montoya looks to get in on that left side. Perhaps just a shoulder offside there as Montoya looks eager to get in. One appearance and one start so far for Montoya. And the clearance will go to Nicole Soto, the California native. winning the ball for Guyana in midfield. Aguera's first touch of the ball out to Nicole Soto as Mexico continues to keep possession. Reyes to the overlapping para, ball played in. And Edwards Dowdle is able to collect that as she comes off her line. No danger for the keeper. Earlier Group D action saw Puerto Rico take down Nicaragua in a one nil victory. That went all the way to the final 15 minutes of the game. Desa with the clearance. Puerto Rico with that win secures third place in Group D as Mexico and Guyana play for first and second place here. Denea Knight with the clearance. Samantha Banfield not able to keep possession for Guyana. Ball's played into the back post to Nayeli Diaz, looking to play it across. Too much height and too much distance on that cross. But Diaz is busy early, looking to sneak in on that backside for Mexico. And looking to press immediately here is Diaz. Fresh legs for Mexico as they look to press right away as Guyana plays short. Perhaps a strategy from Monica Vergara, getting new players in, more playing time, and looking to capitalize on that energy right away. We're in the 11th minute, nil-nil here between Mexico and Guyana. If you're just joining us, Mexico's in the black uniforms, Guyana in yellow kits. 76% possession for Mexico early on in this game as Guyana looks to be organized and play themselves more into the game as we continue. And we have a whistle here as our center referee Miriam Marcote she checks out Edwards Dowdle. No, no, no. It's time to go at this. It looks like she's had to have a jersey change here. As there was a bit of confusion either on the field or for the referee crew. And now Raven Edwards Dowdle will be in the light blue kit for Guyana. Denea Knight with the throw in. Guyana crosses midfield, but unable to keep possession in that moment as Laura Parra receives the ball and connects with Silvana Flores. And 
That'll go off the head of Jenea Knight for a corner kick for Mexico. Jocelyn Montoya gets set to take the corner kick off the right foot. The service comes in to the middle of the six. Well handled by Edward Dowdle. The uniform change, not a distraction for her as Mexico comes right back at her and she's able to secure that for Guyana. Looking to get them in their attacking half with her punt but well handled by the midfield of Mexico. Already two corner kicks for Mexico in this game. Flores. Interchange on that left side between Montoya and Peralta, Diaz, well defended. Para looking for the service to the back post. Haley David defending in the wide area with Janaya Knight. Ball's played across to the far post and it bounces. Diaz and Para. Misfiring on that second opportunity. But the outside back, very involved here in the early goings, looking to get forward. <laughs> Battle in midfield here. Zimple Alteca settles the ball for Mexico. Rechanging the ball to the other side. Flores breaking the line with that pass just under the foot of Nayeli Diaz. teams in this format of the final phase for CONCACAF Women's U20 World Cup qualifying as Mexico builds through the midfield. Flores with the good feet. Little touch, Reyes with the flick and the opportunity right at Edwards Dowdle. And she's up to the task. Soto takes space for Mexico. Shamia Daniels able to get on that ball for Guyana, but swarmed immediately by the high pressure of Mexico. Guyana so far staying organized. Good goalkeeping by Raven Edwards Dowdle to keep Mexico from converting any chances here. In the 17th minute, Mexico continues to keep possession of the ball. Janaya Knight, great position to intercept the ball in behind, but just unable to connect in midfield. Three teams out of each group here in CONCACAF Women's U20 World Cup qualifying or Moving on to the round of 16, those 12 will face four teams already qualified in St. Lucia, Bermuda, Barbados, and Grenada. This final spot to be determined here tonight in the last game of group play. Ball played into Nayeli Davis in the final third. 
Defended by Banfield and the handball will be called on Mari Carmen Reyes. If you're just joining us, both Mexico and Guyana have secured spots in the round of 16. Here's a look at the handball. Obvious call there and it will go Guyana's way as the ball's back in play. But this game will determine first and second place in this group and whether the team will play Grenada or the Cayman Islands, both waiting to see who their opposition will be. Peralta coming inside there. Excuse me, Montoya. Peralta now on the ball. Diaz looking to get in. Can she get to it? Saves it. But Anaya Johnson's there to defend and gets the clearance. An active front line from Mexico. So much interchange. Diaz moving from right to left. Now back central. Hard to defend for Guyana with this movement. Diaz on the ball here on her left foot, looking to slip Juarez in. She goes down in the box, but no call from our center referee. Ball's played in, Edwards Dowdle comes out and a quick service to Nyla Rowe. She looks for the long service to Shamia Daniels as she chases down the ball. Teca, but Mexico deals well with the pressure. Peralta looks to find Diaz, just a little strong on that service. But Nayeli Diaz, the freshman forward from St. Mary's in California, active here in the first 20 minutes of the first half. Two appearances so far in this campaign as a sub, but now getting the start in this third matchup. Nil-nil here as Mexico takes on Guyana in Group D action in Santo Domingo. All Mexico here to start. 79% possession to Mexico, in fact. Only generating four shots out of that possession, but clearly in control of this half so far. Juarez with the turn and the strike. And the save from Edwards Dowdle. Peralta will see that punt out of bounds and Edwards Dowdle slowing down the game a bit for Guyana as they get reorganized here to defend in their half. Montoya switched to this right side looking to flick on for the overlapping Para. Samantha Banfield looking to step. Rifles missing the tackle there. Diaz on the ball, looking for the shot. And Nyla Rowe looking to defend Montoya. Quick throw in to Juarez. Not quite able to connect there at the top of the box with Reyes. Play on, says the referee, and Benfield looks to clear.
Samia Daniels gives chase for Guyana. Now settling back in to their shape here. Ball's played in. Anaya Johnson will let that go to her goalkeeper. Guyana with a low line of confrontation here in their 4-5-1. Six shots for Mexico, zero for Guyana. As Guyana looking to weather the storm early. Unable to build numbers going forward, but looking organized in their 4-5-1 as Jenea Knight looks to take the throw in here for Guyana. Flores. Numbers in midfield for Mexico to keep possession. Montoya looks to circulate it around the back for Mexico. Ball down the left flank here for Peralta. Reyes. Para looking to take the midfield space. Vasquez. Left footed shot on frame, but does not test Edwards Dowdle. She'll look to punt. Montoya plays this ball in. It's dangerous. They said defending Juarez, shielding for Edwards Dowdle. Well defended by the captain there for Guyana. Juarez barreling down on Brianne Deza, but unable to get an opportunity there for Mexico. Soto into Diaz's feet. Opportunity, but that'll go wide from Diaz. Each time a girl joins football, the world takes a strike towards equality. If you empower a girl, you empower a community to fight for their dreams. CONCACAF W, we belong. Vasquez looking for that shot, but Edwards Dowdle able to take that. Montoya. Looking to find Para on the overlap. This is Guyana's first appearance in the final round of the U20 Women's World Cup qualifying. And it's great to see a nation like Guyana being able to come here and the game develop in their country and having secured a spot in the round of 16, a positive campaign thus far for them, showing the development in the CONCACAF region here. Montoya, the touch gets away from her. Daniels trying to chase higher up the field for Guyana. Juarez does well to collect under pressure. Ball played to Para. Just a little strong, too much pace on that ball, but great combination play down this right side for Mexico. Para been very involved. A substitute in her last appearance versus Nicaragua. 
at the outside back position. There'll be a goal kick for Guyana. Great touch by Reyes to collect in midfield for Mexico. Ball's played in. Vasquez for the Mexico throw in and defended by Jenea Knight. Peralta. Soto played across. Dangerous ball. The runs aren't able to cut across in front of Edwards Dowdle as she's remained busy here tonight. Samantha Banto settles for the clearance. And again, composes the Mexican back line. Boateca looking to find Para. Montoya. Mexico doing well to keep possession, looking for the clear opportunity to go forward. As Vasquez get in, gets in the outside space, and that'll go out for a corner kick off Jenea Knight. Montoya jogs over for the corner kick. Montoya with the right footed service into the six. Edwards Dowdle comes out and draws the foul against Mexico. Dangerous service here, high and lofted in, but brave by Dowdle to come out, drawing the foul on Juarez. It's been an active night for Edwards Dowdle, but she's been up to the challenge thus far as we enter the 31st minute here in Santo Domingo. Mexico Guyana nil nil in this Group D matchup. Two venues here in the Dominican Republic for CONCACAF U-20 Women's World Cup qualifying, San Cristobal and Santo Domingo here playing host to Group D action. Soto looking for the service. Denobrega not looking to possess. So much defending for Guyana, the midfield looking to play that immediate ball forward, but Mexico able to collect and continue their attack. The fans getting involved here in Estadio Olimpico, Felix Sanchez. Ball to the back post, Vasquez able to settle. Jenea Knight defending. A high ball played to that back post area. Jenea Knight taking one right to the stomach close to a handball there, but she looks a bit worse for the wear here as she walks it off. A tough competitor as she had that cross into her side. She's battling in the goal kick for Guyana. Nyla Rowe looking to settle, but Mexico pouncing. 
continuing their high pressure for this entire 32 minutes and change. Under the foot of Flores. Soto. Under the foot of Diaz, but she battles to try to win possession back. And it bounced off Haley David. Her first appearance in this tournament as it's a throw for Mexico. Great ball into Diaz, but her first touch failing her on that opportunity. But possession regained. We take a look at Samantha Banfield of Guyana. First place at stake here in Group D. Jessica Myers defending for Guyana. Ball's played in. Deflected here. And Brianne Desa, the captain, comes over to put it out to safety. Brianne Desa from Canada. As so many of these players are. Ball's played in. Edwards Dowdle able to collect. with the pressure and Nyla Rowe draws the foul against Annette Vasquez. Mexico continuing to keep their pressure and she just clips the heel of Nyla Rowe. at head coach Monica Vergara as she instructs her players for Mexico. Jessica Myers with the throw in for Guyana. Denobrega not able to apply pressure, but Samantha Banfield looking to keep it in the attacking half for Guyana. Diaz able to break the pressure as Mexico's off against the back line, Juarez in a battle with Anaya Johnson. Anaya Johnson up to the task. As she spoils the counter attack for Mexico. Vasquez looking to avert pressure. Daniels defending for Guyana. But Flores draws the foul, looking to play quickly. And it's back in play to Reyes. Diaz looking for the opportunity. Well wide of the frame. Shots, five on goal for Mexico, but Raven Edwards Dowdle has kept them off the scoreboard so far in this game as we enter the 38th minute. Vasquez, Anaya Johnson 
Doesn't allow the ball through as Shamia Daniels having a tough battle. One versus three or four players every time it's cleared out from the Guyana back line. Haley David with the pressure. Mexico leading here in possession, almost four to one, not leading on the scoreboard as the score is nil-nil with the service into the box, off the head of Desa. Impara looks to reserve to Maricara Reyes. And it's stopped by Edwards Dowdle. Perhaps the best opportunity for Mexico. As Reyes, as, uh, excuse me, Edwards Dowdle had to dive to her right on that Reyes attempt. That got the fans going here in Santo Domingo. Foul called as we hear chants from the fans of Mexico after a great opportunity on frame, but denied by Edwards Dowdle. The foul here called on Daniels. And here we'll take a look at this last opportunity. Para getting across, great first touch by Reyes. But not able to get that past the goalkeeper for Guyana. Ball across. And Anaya Johnson sees that out over the inline. Goal kick for Guyana as we approach the final five minutes in regulation here in the first half. Guyana organized defensively, not able to cross midfield very often here in this first half as Mexico asserts possession dominance. Ball's played in here. Flick on by Juarez, out of the reach of Vasquez. Head coach Ivan Joseph giving plenty of instruction to Guyana as they look to keep this potent Mexican offense off the scoreboard. Nil-nil here in the 41st minute between these two talented opponents in Group D. Miriam Marcote having a discussion with Daniels. Knight with the throw in. Jade Vifos looking to play the ball forward. As Guyana is able to get into their attacking half. It's only happened on rare occasion in this first half. But Jenea Knight looks to find the center forward. Jade Vifos, left footed cross, cleared by Zimpo Alteca. Juarez with the header, Diaz in behind with the first touch. The shot, and it's just wide of that far post. Bravery in midfield by Juarez on that header in behind the back line. The challenge you see here, Diaz, optimistic run in behind the back line, just not able to get that strike on frame. Hard angle there, she goes for the back post, but not able to connect. Diaz here again on the ball. Cleared by Desa to Haley David. Diaz extremely active here in this first half for Mexico. 
enjoying her first start of this tournament. And showing her ability to create problems for the back line of Guyana. Vasquez. As Dino Brega chases. Torres. Soto finds Zimpo Alteca as Mexico plays it around the back. Looking to break the lines, but Dino Brega in the way. Five-man midfield of Guyana, making it hard to break lines at times on the ground into that space. As the ball rolls out for Jenea Knight. If you're Guyana, you have to be happy with this nil-nil draw so far with the possession disadvantage and the shot disadvantage here in this Group D matchup. Vasquez looking to slip in Juarez, playing it across. Anaya Johnson, and it'll go over the line for a corner kick for Mexico. Potential to go short here for Mexico. Three corners for them, zero for Guyana. As Para joins Montoya on the ball. Still a long service to the near post with the flick and the save from Edwards Dowdle. The goalkeeper doing a great job coming across to her near post. It sets up another corner kick for Mexico. Vasquez with the service. Into the box, header. And that will be no goal as a foul is called against the attack of Mexico. A dangerous service here and bravery from Edwards Dowdle. Mexico finds a way to put it over the line, but after the foul from Nayeli Diaz, The fourth official has indicated a minimum of one minute of extra time. Mexico continuing to press here in this additional time. Perhaps one more opportunity as the flick is forward, but cleared by Guyana. Flores. Soto. Mexico plays the ball around the back to Zimpalteca. Flores rotating into that outside space from her midfield position. Vasquez here off the dribble. Little flick in behind. Well defended by Desa to allow her goalkeeper to take it. And that will be the end of the first half here in Santo Domingo as the players jog off the field, take a look at Flores and Vasquez, nil-nil here at halftime between Mexico and Guyana. Mexico, the vast majority of possession in this first half, but Guyana up to the challenge with her organized defending shape and the saves from Edwards Dowdle.
Entertaining first half here in Santo Domingo. A great matchup between Mexico and Guyana, vying for first place in Group D action. Both teams performing extremely well across the group stage. Guyana in their first time in the final phase of CONCACAF U20 Women's World Cup qualifying. Securing at least a first or second place finish, but some dangerous opportunities here from Mexico. The service has been good for them and really tested the goalkeeper for Guyana, Edwards Dowdle. Little creativity as Juarez gets an opportunity off of Areas. Chip over the top. Little creativity from her, but right at the goalkeeper. And Edwards Dowdle has been shining in this first half. Juarez, another left footed opportunity here on frame. And the play in the outside channel for Mexico has been dangerous. A lot of interchange with the outside backs. And Laura Parra putting this ball into the back post. Great touch by Reyes here. Probably the best opportunity of the game. But Edwards Dowdle able to dive to her right to make this save from point blank range inside the penalty box. And bravery from Juarez as she heads this ball in behind the back line to Nayeli Diaz. Is not able to convert on that opportunity to the back post with players rushing on. And a great near post service there from Vasquez. As many opportunities generated by Mexico in this game against Guyana. The stats say it all, 76% possession for Mexico against Guyana, leading in every category here. 12 shots, eight on frame. But tied up on the scoreboard where it matters. Guyana struggling to get anything going offensively. Are very dependent on their defensive shape right now.
playing Granada or the Cayman Islands. Guyana suffering an onslaught of attack from Mexico in the first half. Vast majority of possession to Mexico, but Guyana able to keep them off the scoreboard. A beautiful night here in Santo Domingo. The teams get ready to go. Mexico is making a sub. Destiny Manzo in for Annette Vasquez, the dynamic front runner coming in. And it looks like this will be Shanice Alfred coming, or sorry, excuse me, Tiandi Smith, number six, coming into the game for Guyana. And we're underway here in the second half. Smith immediately on the ball. Shamia Daniels leaves the game as Smith comes in into that center forward position for Guyana. The line of confrontation already starting a little higher for Guyana as they take their 4-5-1 shape. Soto looking to find Peralta overlapping on the left side. Big first touch. Unable to get on the end of that before Edwards Dowdle collects. Samantha Banfield looks to play. Tandy Smith in behind. Banfield on the ball in midfield. Jenea Knight's pass just intercepted by Nicole Soto. Reyes. Flores. Simpo Alteca combining with Soto to keep the ball around the back. Reyes playing the ball into Diaz, so active today. Flores getting further up the field. Ball played in to Diaz, who keeps possession. Change of point for Mexico. Soto finds Manzo for her first touches of the game. Peralta. Flores so involved in the play for Mexico in that midfield position. Comfortable on the ball in tight spaces is Flores as she plays it out the other side. A member of the U21 team for Arsenal in England. One of the great clubs for both the men's and women's game. Working her way up through that system is Silvana Flores. Soto collects. Reyes to Peralta. Juarez. Just behind the run of Reyes and cleared by Guyana. Service to the back post. Montoya to Diaz and it slips under the foot, or excuse me, Juarez. As she looks to play in that space in front of back line. Not a lot of space there with Guyana shifting the midfield back to condense the area.
Ball in behind to Smith. 1v2 for T. Andy Smith, but earns a throw in higher up the field for Guyana. The ball, Tekka there to defend the counterattack. Take a look at head coach Ivan Joseph. Smith spins, putting pressure in the box. Laragere is able to come out. Reyes helping the ball on to Juarez. Soft touch by Flores to keep possession for Mexico. Ball played into the feet of Juarez. Looking to slip it through to Peralta. The left-footed shot blocked by Knight and Anaya Johnson. And a foul going the other direction. The outside back for Mexico, getting forward, taking her chances. As Menzo and Peralta bear down on Guyana. And Guyana earns the free kick here, taken by Knight. Diaz looking to play it in the penalty box. Nicole Soto, California native, playing at center back for the back line of Mexico. Long throw in. As Flores settles the ball. If you're just joining us, it's Mexico versus Guyana in Group D action. I'm Casey White. Excited to be a part of this game in this group on the call. Entertaining day of games with a lot of implications. As Flores beats pressure in midfield. To the feet of Juarez. Peralta again on the left side looking for the service. It's a high one. Back to the back post, cleared. And collected by Edwards Dowdle. Brian Desa on the line to clear that ball for Guyana. And again, Mexico is kept off the scoreboard. A high service to the back post area. And what a header by Mara Carmen Reyes. Reyes with two great chances, one in the first half, one here. Diaz getting the shot off with the weird bounce. Reyes again. Mary Carmen Reyes making her presence known for Mexico, but Guyana has been able to keep her at bay from putting one away in this second half. A little creativity by Diaz. That combination on that left side has been dangerous for Mexico. Juarez has found success, although that one goes a little long. And we'll have a goal kick here for Guyana. Peralta looking to overlap any chance she can on that left side for Mexico. As her partner on the left side, Destiny Manzo, comes inside often. But the defending from Guyana, the fight from Guyana, has been great here in the opening. 53 minutes in change. Tandy Smith on the ball. Looking for help to establish possession higher up the field. Diaz. Reyes. Juarez finding space in the midfield. Change of point through Zimpo Alteca. Long service, Smith can't quite challenge here. 
And Zoe Aguere is able to let that come into her area. Zoe Aguere has also played for the Mexico Beach Soccer National Team, playing here today for the U-20s, getting her first start for Mexico in this qualifying tournament. Para on the ball for Mexico. The outside backs, backs for Mexico today have been instrumental as Reyes makes a run through midfield. Quick off her line is Edwards Dowdle. Reyes so effective for Mexico as she makes that late run forward from the midfield into the area. Flores with the ball. Manzo, a high ball across to the back post area. Diaz with the header. Not cleared out of danger quite yet as Haley David chases. Nil, nil as we enter the 56th minute. Mexico versus Guyana here in Dominican Republic. The great host nation seeing their country advance as well out of group C. Finishing second place behind first place United States. But first and second place to be determined here in this matchup. Anaya Johnson collects at the top of the area. Denobrega unable to find Smith up top as Nicole Soto steps in. be a throw in to Guyana. Diaz very busy today and a substitution for Mexico as Nicole Perez comes in for Mary Carmen Reyes. A great 56 minutes for Reyes, very effective, but Nicole Perez coming into the game was the captain the last two games. So a great sub coming in for Mexico. And now you have to wonder as these head coaches want first place in this group, but looking at managing their rosters as well to find balance as they have their players play so many games in very few days here in this qualifying tournament. Tracked down by Zimpo Alteca to the feet of Flores. First touch for Perez. Juarez looking for Manzo. Can't quite get her hips around that ball to get it to that far side. But Juarez doing a great job dropping into that midfield space. Partnership of Manzo and Juarez in that central area up top. It's proven dangerous so far. And allowing Diaz to float throughout and stay involved in the game as the attack goes up the right side. Good cut by Montoya. Ball's played across. And it drops to Juarez. And Edwards Dowdle slides to her right. Not much power on that last chance from Mexico, but the wide spaces still being kind to Mexico as they're able to create those overloads and create chances. Guyana holding strong here through almost 60 minutes.
Ball's played in. Flores does well to get out of pressure. Finds Diaz. Looking for some combination play at the top of the box is Juarez. Not quite able to connect. As Jade Vifos looks for the clearance. And Jenea Knight able to clear the ball out. This is the last opportunity from Mexico. A little touch by Manzo. Looking for placement, not enough power on that to pass Edwards Dowdle. And we'll have another substitution here for Guyana. Number 19, Haricia Adams coming in for number 14, Haley David. Adams with her first appearance in the tournament for Guyana, getting some minutes under her belt before the round of 16. Destiny Manzo on her left foot. Finds Peralta. Perez looking for the strike, and it sails over the top. Nicole Perez finding that space, looking to be the difference in this game. But it'll be a goal kick for Guyana. Nicole Perez, sil silver ball at the U-17 World Cup in Uruguay. Ball played to Juarez on her left foot, and it goes well wide. Goal kick, Guyana. Silver ball awarded to Nicole Perez in that World Cup. Played every single minute, three goals, one assist. Just an impactful player at the U-17 level, and now contributing at the U-20, and the captain in the first two games with that last good opportunity from Mexico. Montoya. Big first touch by Para. Service across to Juarez, cleared by Anaya Johnson. Destiny Manzo tries her luck here. And Mexico not content with this nil-nil scoreline. Continuing to put the pressure on Guyana. Perez. Montoya. To Manzo's feet in the area. Gets around with her left foot. Juarez talking to her teammates. Perhaps a bit impatient in that final third as they're looking to connect and put one in the back of the net. Winning the possession battle, but Many rush chances in that final third for Mexico. Smith with the pressure. As these games go on, we play out the other side through Zippo Alteca. Less and less chances could be created for each team. So those finishing opportunities are hugely important and this game is one where the detail is in finishing hasn't been quite there for Mexico. Manzo with the run in the box. Edwards Dowdo comes out to pressure with the challenge. Mexico certainly able to create a number of chances, but still looking for that finishing touch here tonight in Santo Domingo. Perez to Juarez, plenty of space in front of her. Chooses to pass, and a handball called on Adams. And this will be a set piece in a dangerous area for Mexico. Miriam Marcote sets the line for the set piece and the wall. Mexico committing six players forward in addition to Perez for this set piece.
Ball's played wide. Jade Vice releases to the wall. And just not enough on that cross. But a heads up play there for Mexico to take advantage. Guyana not defending in that wide area. They may want that one back. Nicole Soto stepping in to keep possession out to Peralta. Perez. Flores. Entering the 66th minute, nil-nil here in Estadio Olimpico, Felix Sanchez in a Group D matchup of Mexico versus Guyana. shots for Mexico, 10 on goal. No shots yet for Guyana in this game. And it tells a story of them getting 10 on goal, but that Edwards Dowdle has been up to the challenge as Juarez gets it on her right foot, looking to slip it in behind. And Desa able to clear that ball out to Banfield. Those 10 shots on goal from Mexico, not enough to bypass the goalkeeper, Edwards Dowdle. It'll be a throw for Mexico. We take a look at Nyla Rowe. Perez. Manzo. To Montoya coming inside on the left foot. Multiple defenders there. Para looking to find a service back post and quick off her line is the goalkeeper from Guyana. Para. Looking to slip that ball in behind. But Jessica Myers there with Montoya. Good footwork there. Looking to keep possession. Flores looks to circulate it across. No space there to take advantage of in front of the back line of Guyana and the clearance. To Smith making chase against Nicole Soto. Well defended. Alteca making her way up the field for Mexico. Big touch by Perez. Menzo to Montoya. Montoya with the fake looking to take space. The entry pass into Diaz. Peralta looking to get into the box. Can she get it across? Yes. Anaya Johnson there to deny an opportunity for Mexico. A great turn here by Peralta, the outside back, and she gets this cross off. But the player for player marking in the box is up to the task as Anaya Johnson comes across. A corner kick for Nicole Perez. Janaea Knight. Clearing the ball out of immediate danger. Montoya. Juarez with the left foot. Edwards Dowdle parries it. And able to collect that out of danger. The ninth save for the goalkeeper tonight. Para. Captain takes space here. 
Manzo finds space on the outside. Back across to Perez. Great slip ball into Juarez. Back to Manzo. And that clearance turning the back of Nicole Soto, but able to keep possession. Guyana just not able to get numbers up the field as they're doing all they can to keep Mexico from getting that goal. An active run by Para, and that goes out for a goal kick. Football knows no gender. Football knows tenacity. This is your open invitation to get off the sidelines and get in the conversation. CONCACAF W, we belong. Coming in, fighting Juarez in front of the back line. Montoya with a great run and the strike. Johnson making it hard for Mexico with any of these long range opportunities. Peralta. As we're under 20 minutes left in regulation in Group D, both of these teams vying for that first place. Mexico will get the first place nod with a win or a tie as they lead in goal differential. With five goals for Guyana, three goals for both teams with six points. Guyana needing the win here to secure first place. And Mexico looking for that goal, not wanting to settle as Diaz takes on Denea Knight in the wide areas. Does well to keep possession. And it's a battle. And a foul on Knight. A great matchup there in Diaz and Denea Knight. It's the late tackle here as Diaz pushes that past Denea Knight. And this will be a dangerous service for Mexico. Service is in to the back post area. A little long as Juarez looks to chase it down. Nyla Rowe with a little creativity to get out of that pressure. And we will have a substitution for Mexico. Number seven, Nayeli Diaz making way for number 14, Mariel Roman. Nayeli Diaz not able to get on the scoreboard today, but a very busy day for her, creating lots of opportunities for this Mexico attack. Roman getting her second appearance. Started against Puerto Rico. Menzo on her left foot, blocked out. Knight, a tough competitor here, making it hard for Mexico to get any opportunity down that left side. Combination play in midfield between Flores and Roman. A left footed strike, Desa, Juarez, and it bounces. And Edwards Dowdle comes out, makes sure that that opportunity is not a problem for her back line.
The sights and sounds here in Santo Domingo are an indication of what this means to both of these teams. They're both in the round of 16, looking to find their form, looking to give themselves the best opportunity to get those two coveted berths to the World Cup in Costa Rica and Panama. Only two spots available. Ball to Flores, good feet on her right foot with the strike. Headed back by Deno Brega for Edward Dowdle. With Costa Rica and Panama being host countries and getting dual bursts, there's only two available here in the Dominican Republic. Only two teams will be joining them for the 2020 World Cup. Manzo collects on the left flank, cuts inside. Another cut, defended well by Adams as she covers for Jenea Knight. 76th minute, Guyana versus Mexico, nil-nil draw thus far. Perez on the ball here. Taken away by Samantha Banfield, looking for something forward. Can she connect with Smith? But Flores chasing her down and collecting the ball. Adams bringing some energy defensively for Guyana. Throw-ins into Juarez. Lots of space to turn. Manzo looking for the left-footed service. Balls across. And coming onto it is Nicole Perez. Not able to get over that strike, but laid up perfectly for her at the top of the penalty box. Service across by Manzo, a little touch there on the right foot of Perez. Certainly one of those players for Mexico. You want having that opportunity, but not able to force a save there from Edwards Dowdle. Flores. Patience in possession right now for Mexico. Combination play to Juarez, putting it on her left foot. Immediate chase by Juarez. Menzo with the turn. Left footed service. A shot, and it's in from Montoya. Mexico finds a way to break through as Aguera celebrates from her own penalty area. Destiny Manzo, another left foot across into the area. The fans are excited to see Mexico take the one nil lead. Great feet by Menzo, playing this ball across. And a great left-footed strike by Jocelyn Montoya. Nothing Edwards Dowdle could do right in the corner. Montoya finds that space between those four defenders in the penalty box. And that's the difference now, right now as Mexico leads 1-0 against Guyana. Montoya looking for the left-footed service. Collision in midfield. Looks like that will go Mexico's way. We see a look at the substitution. Samantha Banfield comes off and Sydney Puticom goes into the game as we approach the final 10 minutes of regulation here.
played short by Mexico. They go back to that wide space, which has been so good for them today. But this one goes over the line, and we'll have a goal kick for Guyana. Manzo steps in to win possession. The defeat of Roman to Flores that trickles to the hands of the goalkeeper for Guyana, Edwards Dowdle. Both teams here in Group D securing spots in the round of 16 coming into this game. Mexico, if this score were to stand, would secure first place. Guyana, second place for the round of 16 matchups. Flores finds the feet of Juarez, looking to find Manzo. Peralta joining into the attack, looking for the service and across, a bouncing ball, and just over the top from Gabriela Juarez. trying to get that left foot over the ball to get it on frame, but unable to. Good combination play here on the outside, Peralta. And the challenge there by Roman to keep the ball alive. And a near miss for Juarez. Simpal Teca under pressure from Smith. Both teams able to get multiple players playing time in this game as they prepare their rosters for the round of 16. It, that just starts on Saturday and continues on Sunday. It'll make for four games in seven days, so roster management vitally important here for both head coaches. Manzo on the turn, looks to play in front of the back line to Juarez, getting space as she's done all day. Comfortable on the ball, looking to combine with Peralta. Punacom looks for the long service as Smith chases. Perez finding Flores. She takes space, looking for the ball to the left side, but Jenea Knight's able to cut that service out. Jessica Myers to defend. With the help of Roe, Montoya still able to get through, being forced sideways. Peralta on the ball, looking for the service. Montoya. A high service. Mexico looking to see out this game and secure the one nil victory. Peralta, Manzo, cutting across to her right foot. Ball's played in, Roman looking to find Perez on the flick. But so many bodies back for Guyana as the more possession continues to be established throughout this game, the further back they have to defend. Ball's played into Roman for a little combination. Creativity by Montoya, looking for the service. Cut back. Patience exhibited by Montoya as Para looks to get involved. Playing into the back post, and the header is wide from Mariel Roman. 
The 17 year old looking to get on the scoreboard there. She peels off her run, well timed on the back post, but unable to direct this header with power on frame. Juarez, Juarez, looking in for the left foot, deflection, and scooped up by Edwards Dowdle. A high punt to Smith, as Rose looking to help put pressure on the defense of Mexico. Roman finds space in front of that back line. Spraying the ball out to Destiny Manzo. Perez. Montoya looking to make her way through on her left foot. And a penalty is called here in the 86th minute. Four defenders around Montoya. As she steps up to take this penalty kick for Mexico. Patience exhibited here. And Sydney Puticombe just taking the legs out of Montoya. Miriam Marcote speaking to Edwards Dottle. Jocelyn Montoya to take the penalty kick here for Mexico. And it's a goal for Jocelyn Montoya. Two goals on the evening. One off the left foot, one off the right, and she's all smiles. The fans are loving it as Mexico makes it 2-0 here in Group D play in Santo Domingo. The chance rain in, the foul here that led to the 87th minute goal by Jocelyn Montoya. Edwards Dowdle thinking it'll be to her left, a little movement, and Montoya slots it away, cool as can be with her right foot. 2-0 here versus Guyana. Flores. Perez looking for the weak side run. Dowdle making the save. And that'll be offside call on that weak side run. It's a body length ahead. Looking to get in behind, but the save anyways. But this will be a free kick for Brianne Desa, the captain for Guyana. Roman. Manzo. Too strong of a touch as it'll be a goal kick for Guyana. Mexico has the lead 2-0 here against Guyana, but a lot of positives for this side. Anissa O'Brien being in goal for the first two games for Guyana, but Ravens Edwards Dowdle, an excellent performance tonight. Keeping Mexico off the board for 78 minutes. Ball in behind that midfield to Juarez, but the pass is too strong. Guyana with four previous starters on the bench today. Getting some rest before the round of 16, but Yvonne Joseph has to be 
happy with performance, perhaps not results, but the performance today of maintaining a very, very good Mexico team for a portion of the game. Mexico dominating possession, Guyana perhaps wanting more of that. But Mexico eventually broke through here. The fourth official has indicated a minimum of three minutes of additional time in this final matchup of the final day of the group stages. Anaya Johnson defending and with the clearance. Roman. Jade Vifos looking to play the ball forward for Sydney Putacombe. Soto. The ball goes out for a Mexico throw in. A talented Mexico team here today. So many involved in the professional league, Liga MX Femenil in Mexico. The future is bright for both of these countries. as CONCACAF continues to grow and develop the players here. Janaya Knight looking to go forward. Trying to find Pudicom. Throw in for Mexico. Parata finds Flores in the midfield. Perez, as we enter the final minute here of extra time. A service across, Desa with the clearance. And Nyla Rowe looking to get into her attacking half, not able to find Tandy Smith. Montoya looking for Roman on her right foot. Looks to get it off. And it slips under Edwards Dowdle for a third goal here tonight for Mexico. The second half substitute, Maria Roman. Almost put one away a few minutes ago and now gets on her right foot. Keeps it low, and she's happy to have her first goal of this campaign. And just unfortunate from Edwards Dowdle. She's had such a great game. And that's the final whistle here in Santo Domingo. 3-0 to Mexico over Guyana in Group D action. The fans of Mexico, a lot to celebrate as they go 3-0-0 in group play. Nine points and securing first place in Group D, moving on to the round of 16 and controlling their placement. Two goals by Jocelyn Montoya and one by Mario Roman. A penalty kick for Montoya, scoring both with her left and right foot. Guyana keeping Mexico at bay for 78 minutes. You see how much this means to the players. Tata Sanchez, a leader in this group, not playing today. But Guyana, well organized through 78 minutes. But facing 28 shots of Mexico, 14 on frame, and a difficult thing to keep them off the board for an entire 90 minutes. Take a look at the stat, 
percent possession for Mexico. Uh, seven fouls for Guyana as they battled their way through, but 28 total shots. It says it all, 14 on frame, six corner kicks. Just a dominant performance from Mexico. And Guyana not able to get much moving forward. Here's how it looks in Group D, and it'll finish off the group stage. Mexico atop the board, but Mexico, Guyana, Puerto Rico all punching their ticket into the round of 16 while Nicaragua has been eliminated in this final day of Group D play. You'll see the beginning of the game as the players make their way onto the field. All singing their national anthems with pride as they get ready for a clash of the top two teams in this competitive Group D. Guyana in the final phase for the first time, securing that berth to the round of 16, looking to take on Mexico. This ball to the back post, and really one of the top performers of the game was Raven Edwards Dowdle as she collects there. A nifty little touch there from Reyes as Juarez gets a shot on frame. And this would be a sign of things to come as Mexico peppered the goal of Guyana throughout this match. Left and right footed opportunities from Juarez. Both outside backs getting involved in this game. Para looking for that weak side space. And Para drives this service across as well. A great touch by Reyes and the best opportunity of the first half, but Edwards Dowdle there to dive to her right. And make sure the game stays even through the first half and a brave header challenge to an oncoming Diaz just wide. Diaz busy all day for Mexico and the left footed service to the near post. And that would complete the first half. Smith came into the game for Guyana. And this service high to the back post, but cleared off the line by Desa. The back line and the entire team for Guyana battling hard to make sure that Mexico is unable to find separation in this game. But the service across, touchdown, just not able to get power off the right foot of Juarez. 14 shots on frame, three goals, but not a lot of power on these initial opportunities. And another from Juarez. Able to get that second ch chance after the parry. And Destiny Manzo with a great service across here. Dropping to Nicole Perez, firing just over the goal. And great, great work here on the wing by Manzo beating Jenea Knight to get this ball across. And just a great first touch finish from Jocelyn Montoya. That provided the separation in the 78th minute. Another cross here. Causing problems in front is Roman, but Juarez active on the day, but not able to get over the ball to get that opportunity on frame. And Roman would take the space off the backside shoulder, looking to get that header on frame, but not able to direct it to cause a save from Edwards Dowdle. The Montoya taking on three defenders in the penalty area. Penalty right here by Montoya for her second goal of the day. She can do it both left foot and right footed. Calm, under pressure, getting her second goal. And Mario Roman finishing off the scoring in the waning seconds, just under as she keeps it low. And there you have it, 3-0 Mexico, a top group D, beats Guyana, and is able to secure first place here in this action. Group D action here on display today. More to come this coming weekend in the round of 16. I'm Casey White, thanks for joining us. 3-2-0 Mexico versus Guyana. Have a great night.